Thanks for joining us for Boost Workflow Efficiency with Adobe Acrobat Pro. We have some great presenters for you. Alexa Farrow, a Product Success Manager with the Adobe Document Cloud Team, and Tim Plummer, a Senior Manager on the Digital Media Strategy Team at Adobe. In this short video, they'll share how organizations like yours use Adobe Acrobat every day to ensure security by protecting sensitive information, empower collaboration, and streamline workflows. And they'll dive into the details with in-depth demos. Okay, and with that, over to you, Alexa. Hello, and welcome, everyone. Every organization is at a different stage of digital maturity. At the beginning of the scale, you'll find organizations that are still dealing with a lot of manual and paper-based processes that are tedious and time-intensive. As organizations automate and streamline more of these processes, they see rapid, transformative improvements and move further along the scale of digital maturity. I tend to find that organizations from every industry who fall on the higher end of the scale are preparing their teams across the entire business by standardizing on Adobe Acrobat and Document Cloud. From HR to sales to finance and legal and collaboration in between, there are several capabilities that organizations are benefiting from. Using Acrobat across the organization ensures that every document is secure and compliant, increases efficiency with integrations and mobile access from anywhere, and enables automation with high fidelity content. These three pillars are the foundation for successful organizations and supporting employees to get their jobs done better. Knowing your document workflows are secure and compliant offers organizations next level advantages, including data protection, regulatory adherence, risk mitigation, enhanced productivity, collaboration, auditability, and improved reputation. These positive ripple effects generated by secure document workflows can add up to time and cost savings for an entire organization. When secure document workflow tools and processes are smoothly integrated with work productivity apps, efficiency gets an enormous boost. These workflow integrations and connections mean tasks get done faster and with more accuracy directly inside the home apps teams work in every day. Adding cloud-based mobile access to these document workflows empowers secure official work from anywhere at any time. Automation is the game changer when it comes to boosting speed, efficiency, and cost savings across document workflows. Automation reduces human error in the creation and editing of documents and eliminates manual, time-intensive, and repetitive tasks by letting powerful tools do the heavy lifting. As organizations grow, the conversation continues around how your business units can become more automated. There are several efficiencies to be gained by using Acrobat within tools individuals are already spending time in, especially Microsoft by giving teams access to both Microsoft and Acrobat technology, you are unlocking several efficiencies. Today, we will just scratch the surface of what is possible. So with that, let's dive into our first scenario and look at how Arizona Pipeline uses Adobe Acrobat Pro to protect their sensitive information and build infrastructure for faster, more efficient document workflows. Arizona Pipeline, was a heavy user of paperwork for billing, invoicing, staffing, field measurements, and other activities. The variety and complexity of stakeholders and workflows that Arizona Pipeline manages pushed them to digital transformation. As they explored improving document workflows, Arizona Pipeline started with their accounts receivable team to develop streamlined paperless payment workflows. As Arizona Pipeline realized the cost-saving benefits from Acrobat, they expanded use to HR and then across the organization to continue in a positive direction of going paperless. This led to enhanced efficiencies and collaboration due to the interoperability between applications. Adobe Acrobat Pro helped Arizona Pipeline combine documents, provide mobile ease for field employees, streamline billing, and empowers smooth reviews, 
in addition to making it easy for HR to redact sensitive information. Arizona Pipeline shared that Acrobat Pro has helped us achieve 70% paperless rate company-wide and saved printing costs on nearly 100 pages a day. Document security and protection is paramount for organizations like Arizona Pipeline that manage large volumes of sensitive information. We highlighted that one of the benefits of standardizing on Acrobat is the increased assurance of document security. Let's now turn our attention to a demo of this capability. We specifically want to share how HR increased security and compliance by protecting sensitive information. Tim, can you take over here and show us a bit more detail on how people might use Acrobat Pro to remove confidential information from documents with easy redaction capabilities? Yeah, okay, absolutely. And thank you, Alexa. For my demonstrations, I'm going to take on the role of an employee at this company called Altura Technology. And in this case, I'm in the HR department. I have a very urgent need because I'm trying to hire someone for a special project. There's some secrecy about the project and there's information that I need to protect in the contract that I'm about to send to them. So I'm going to send them a PDF and I need to get it to them today. So I don't have a version of this that was created for this particular special hire. And frankly, I don't have time to create one. So I'm going to start with an existing PDF. However, I need to edit the PDF. I need to hide some information in the PDF. And I'm actually going to secure the entire PDF because I want to protect it from outside prying eyes. So let's take a look at how I'm going to do that. The first change that I need to make is that this is a general corporate employee agreement. I need to say special employee agreement. I'm going to use Acrobat's edit capabilities to edit this PDF right here. And basically what I end up with is a text editor inside Acrobat on top of my PDF. So I'm going to select this text, type in special, and I've made that update. And of course I could do any other updates that I wanted to. I could move graphic images around, move blocks of text around or whatever. I'm done with this particular part of it. So I'll go ahead and close the text editor now. Now what I need to do is, as I said, I need to hide or redact information from this document. So I'm just going to scroll down and I've got this paragraph here. So what I want to do is redact it and the redaction tool in Acrobat, it's not showing up here in my tools right now. That's no problem. I'm in a hurry. So I'm just going to type in redact into the search field. And there it is. That's what I want. When I select it, it takes me to the redact tool. And now I'm just going to scroll a little bit up here in the document. To get started, all I need to do is highlight the text that I want to remove. I get a red line around it. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply and it's going to apply the redaction. And it's also asking me to sanitize and remove hidden information. I'm going to leave that on because there's something called metadata that lives inside just about every file on your computer, including PDF files. I'll click continue, click save. It'll go through the process of making sure that everything is all set. And now the text that I highlighted no longer exists in this document. And the final step that I want to take with this document after redacting it is I'll, I'll hit close, but I want to protect the document. When I click this protect option over here, so I'll go ahead and select advanced options, choose encrypt with password, and I'll type it in. It tells me that it's a pretty good, strong password, and that's good, and that's good advice. I also want to restrict editing and printing of the document as well. I don't want you to copy the text, but I do want to give you access to a screen reader in case the person I'm sending this to can't see the document and relies on assistive technology to be able to hear the document. We'll go ahead and enter a password for changing those permissions, which is also a good password, and I'll scroll down and just click OK. It's going to ask you to confirm this because, trust me, if you lose this password, you're not getting back into the document and you're not unlocking the document so that you could make changes to it later if you want to. There, I'll confirm my passwords. And now I have a document that is both redacted and secured. Alexa, back to you. Tim, thanks for that fantastic demo. On to our next topic, how the Adobe's legal team is collaborating on PDFs. While Adobe uses Acrobat Pro organization-wide, Today, we are going to focus on the pillar of automation and how our organization transformed paper processes to execute reliable agreements faster. Through an in-depth evaluation of the IT, sales, and legal document requirements, Adobe created a scalable framework that can flexibly adapt to any type of agreement and workflow. Automating manual processes reduced errors and delays during contract workflows and ultimately 
reduce demand on IT resources to configure contract solutions. 75% of sales contracts handled through fully self-service workflows and 273% faster average time to execute each contract. Projected to save deal desks 36,000 hours annually on total contract processing time. When workflows and tools are integrated, teams and departments can ideate, review, approve, and move work forward together in the apps they use every day. Tim will now show us how to replicate this kind of workflow acceleration with collaboration on PDFs. So as an Altura employee, I'm inspired by that story and I want to use this technology. In fact, I have some legal documentation that I need to work with here. And so what I need to do is to send this contract out and get some feedback on it before I'm actually ready to issue it for a signature. To do that, I've got some documents here and I'm in Microsoft Teams. So what I first want to do is take these two PDF files and combine them together. What I want to do now is just right click and choose Adobe Document Cloud right here in Teams, combine files by Adobe. And when I do that, Adobe will take the files, upload them, combine them, and give me some options that I'll take advantage of. And now I, I see the two files. Well, not only can I see the two files, but if I select them, uh, I can combine them and click this little icon here. If there are pages in one of the files that I don't care about, or if I want to mix the files together, I can go ahead and do so. So for example, I want this agreement page here to be after page one of the overall document. And I've just moved it so that it's right after page one. So I'll go ahead and click combine and my document's ready to go. I can add a comment here if I want to, but instead I'm actually going to hand it over to the desktop app because I want to take it that step further. From here, what I want to do is send this document to a reviewer who's not a member of my corporation. And to do that, very quickly, I'm going to select send for comments, type in an email address, and I definitely want to allow comments and I do want to add a deadline. So I'm just going to click on add a deadline and we'll add it, make it due on the 15th and then click save. I could add a message. I'm, I'm going to skip that here for this demonstration. Alexa, back to you. Thanks, Tim. I know our viewers appreciate being able to see how this kind of collaboration works in the real world. We'll now discuss how constructing a digital workflow for seamless e-signatures can make every process touchpoint faster and smoother. For our final scenario, we'll be showing you how Cobol Homes constructed digital workflows for seamless e-signatures. Due to every building project requiring hundreds of documents, Coval Homes needs to ensure that the external workflows are accomplished in an easy and digestible way. I'd like to focus on how Coval Homes' sales and marketing team collaborated effectively to ensure the optimal experience for their customers throughout the home building process. From price and material availability updates to inspection delays, change is the norm. Using Acrobat Pro, the team can quickly and easily compile large volumes of information to update and share documents throughout the project lifecycle. Cobol constructed a digital workflow that made signing easy at every touchpoint. Connected e-signature workflows and smooth integrations equal effortless collaboration that lets businesses accelerate mission-critical workflows inside the apps they use every day. Connected, centralized workflows across productivity, CRM, HR, enterprise, and CLM platforms and apps equates to enormous time and cost savings. Coval Homes uses Adobe Acrobat Pro to empower digital collaboration across teams, collect e-signatures, and create and navigate large volumes of branded documents, including document packages. Review and approval have also become faster and smoother Easy tracking and tracing helps them to have up-to-the-minute visibility on document status. And integrations like Microsoft 365, Google Drive, Box, and Dropbox help keep business moving for every process. Automation eliminates time-consuming manual tasks such as document sorting, filing, and data entry, giving teams time to focus on more high-value tasks. Automation streamlines the entire workflow reducing errors, and ensuring consistent formatting and accuracy. Coval created smooth, automated, 
digital workflows that improved both business and the customer experience. Our final demo will show you how to build a seamless digital workflow for your own organization. Over to you, Tim. Okay, thank you, Alexa. So back here at Altura Technology, I'm so inspired by what I just heard there that I want to use that with my program. I have a partnership agreement that I need to send to a new partner we're trying to bring into the fold. And we have a standard partnership agreement that I want to use. All I really need is a quick electronic signature. Now, to send this off for signature, right here in Acrobat, I'm going to select Request e-signature. So all I need to do is determine to whom I want to send it to get started. I'll choose it. I'm just going to go ahead and ignore the rest of these settings because, again, I don't really need to do these things for this demonstration. But the final thing that I need to do to get this out is just specify where I want the person to sign the document. So let's go ahead and have a look. And there it is. And I'm just going to scroll to the very bottom. And you can see that Acrobat looked at this and said, hey, these look like fields you probably want to sign or fill in as a part of this process. And it was right. And so this is the first one. I'm just going to go ahead and click on it to say, yep, this is going to be the signature field. And I actually want there to be a printed name, though, on the document as well. It just makes it easier to, to read quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and select the second field here. And I'm going to choose the type of field by selecting set as signer's name field. Acrobat will automatically take from the signature your name and put it in there. So now I can read it quickly, but I also have the signature experience. So I want to pick the date that it's being signed. And, and we'll select that because Acrobat will take from that person's system the date that it's been signed and just add it to the document. So to finish it off, I'll just go ahead over here and click send. Now, this has been sent out to that email address that I entered into the process. So I'm going to go ahead and shift gears, though. I'm going to take on the role of the person that I've sent this to. So now I'm a different person, and I've received an email with a signature requested. I need nothing more than a browser. We'll just go ahead and select it, and it tells me uh, what I'm looking at here. And all I need to do is just review and sign. Now, if, if I don't know where to sign the document right away, that's no problem. Acrobat will even show me. All I need to do is click the start button and it will take me right to the places that I need to sign the document. So we'll go ahead, click to sign, and I can either draw an image if I want with my mouse. I can just type it and it will add a scripty looking font, or I can upload a scan of my signature if I want to have an accurate version of my signature into the mix. In fact, I could even sign it on a mobile device using my finger on the screen of the device. Just add my signature to the document right here. And what Acrobat's going to do is use a kind of scripty font that kind of made imitate the look and feel of a document that's an actual, uh, that's actually been signed by a signature. So when I click apply though, it will give me a chance to preview it and I can even edit it and fix it if I want to, if I've done something wrong, I can add a signing reason. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and then click okay. And notice that. It actually picked up the other two fields automatically, the digital text of my signature and the date on which I signed it. The final step, and the only thing that I need to do from here is to simply click to sign. Acrobat Sign will process the document. It will send it back to the person who sent it to me and they'll have a record of it and I'm all set. Let's go back over to the person that I was who sent the document from Altura and I'll show you what the rest of the process looks like because it's really slick. So back here at Altura, I've sent the document out and I can see in Acrobat that it has been successfully sent out for signature. In fact, if I come over here to Outlook, I can see that the system has sent me an email to let me know that it has been sent out. And as soon as the signatory has signed it and it goes through the process in Adobe Sign, then I'll get a similar email to let me know that the signature has been applied. And at that point, frankly, I'm done. I've got my signature. I can take the document out, save it to wherever I want to, and then share it with whomever I need to. I've been able to take a business process, streamline it, make it happen very quickly, and get on to the, the process of doing business rather than shuffling documents around. Thanks, Tim. My hope, sincerely, is that today's conversation has inspired you to think about how you can move towards automating internal and external workflows across your organization. Thanks, Alexa and Tim, for sharing your expertise. To learn more about how to boost workflow efficiency with Adobe Acrobat Pro, go to adobe.com forward slash acrobat forward slash business dot html to speak to an Adobe team member. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.